morning, Goranges are on view yet again, this time big double view for the fine sale on the 4th of December and a very big weekly sale on Monday the 3rd. So we're upstairs, we're going to look at the fine sale first. And this caught my eye, this is lot 7, this is uh, an automaton and I'm just trying to work out how to get it up and running. There's a big key in here and yeah, it's sort of coming to life here, we've got things, oh, there we go. Look at that. Off it goes. So um, the toy shop comes alive. Oh, noisily, I have to, <laughs> have to say. There we go. Uh, what else we got in the cell? Well, we've got this lovely contents, property called Congreve House from Yolding. Really lovely contents. Lots of quite interesting academic pieces of furniture and other decorative things. This is from there. It's a nice Victorian cabinet, but I'm going to be picking up on some more distinctive items as we go around. Look at this huge display cabinet. Rather lovely. Hasn't got a lock number yet. Well, we're on view in half an hour's time, so I suppose we've got time to get that sorted. So, through, here we are. This, we're showing some of the finer pieces here. For instance, here we have a book, The Victorian Country House, featuring pieces designed by Pugin, such as these tables from Horsted Place originally. And here we have a pair of tables from Horsted Place, no less, with the uh, the original Christopher Gibbs invoice here, so uh, that's rather special, a pair of those. Then over here, even more to the point, this book, another well-known book, Jeremy Cooper's book, Victorian and Edwardian Furniture. And what do we have here? A picture of a table, which is the table that came from Windsor Castle, no less. Hence, the cover embroidered with the Royal Coat of Arms. And we take the cover off. And there we have a fantastic table, look at that, designed by Pugin for George IV for Windsor Castle. Doesn't get much better than that. That's lot 311, it's at 12 to 18,000 pound estimate. Behind it, wonderful open bookcase there. Again, Pugin related design, uh, really good looking thing. Um, and that is lot 269, it's at 5 to 7,000. From the same house, marvellous pair of Bermontoff's vases, look at those, stunning with the dolphins. They are lot number 310. We've said very modest, 1500 to 2000. Sure, we'll get more than that. Moving round. Some good paintings. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Some interesting things. A lot of interest in this one. This Swedish, well, Swedish marble on top of an English uh, Gothic base. A lot of interest there. That is lot 307. Different things. Venetian grotto seats. Pair of those. Running down the line here. We've already got the seating out and everything. Across the room there, catches my eye, it's a Harold Swanick, really nice big oil, Harold Swanick there, uh, in our picture section on Tuesday. More Pugin-esque furniture, there's heels related furniture in the bedroom suite showing behind you. Then this very distinctive piece here is um, Ogden of Manchester, lovely inlay, look at the quality of that, really super inlay. Other goodies hidden away up the back there, we'll go through to the smalls, turn the lights on, there we are. And, well, Dan's been busy, amongst many other things, he's got in a collection of um, visiting card cases there. And I've been busy too, I do, I'm busy sometimes. And here we are, look at that, that is the world's largest pen, or it was in its day, Waterman's. And that is, you think that's the world's smallest pen, but actually it's not, there's an even smaller one inside this box. So, uh, they're Waterman's, and there's a very nice Dunhill Namiki there the lacquer inlay, so those are all coming up for the pen collectors. For other collectors, we have Maori, Maori related war clubs. We have wine. This is fantastic, this is lot 34. It's the presentation sword. We've seen a few of these over the years, but this one is really splendid. And it was presented to, well, spiffing fellow, uh, if I can find his name here. This sabre is presented by the Townsmen of Pains Paisley to, um, where are we going to find it? Captain, oh there we go, it's in very, George, oh no, there we go, it's, uh, no this isn't coming across very well, but anyway, it's, it's a very fine presentation source, it's relating to the, uh, the, the siege and taking of San Sebastian, so the good people at Paisley um, had this made, presented it to him, and then they had the, the silver work done, this is all silver gilt, by Rundle Bridge and Rundle, so it really doesn't get much better than that. The estimate is 10 to 15,000, but we think it's going to make more. It's, it's one of those things that 
you won't find another one, so the price will be set on the day. Maybe it's 20,000, who knows? We shall find out. It's going to be fun finding out. On top of that, we have chess. Fancy a game of chess? Fancy a game of chess with solid nine carat gold chessmen? Well, now's your opportunity. A bit different, lot 33, in at about three and a half thousand pounds. That's round about the gold value, so we'll see how that ends up. There's some really lovely smalls. Look at this. Beautiful. This is Webb. This is a classic Webb scent bottle. Model as this one. This is cameo glass, carved away glass, lot 79, 1000 to 1500. And there's a companion there, lot 78. Beautifully done with the butterflies and other bugs. Those are both Victorian. We have some mice and figures. We have a collection of um, Moorcroft, Macintyre. We've got some more Lily car mascots, so we'll run them across there. And then Geoffrey Godden, who was known as the Chinaman, uh, wrote numerous books about ceramics. This is the tail end of his collection showing up here, including these rather impressive vases. Uh, I think Dan's tracked those down to some uh, exhibition provenance, which is nice. That is, as is that one, that's also an exhibition piece. So those are interesting. I'm coming round some. And we'll go down the line. Not so much in the Oriental, still some interesting pieces, but not a huge collection of Oriental this time. We have a good run of clocks. This is rather splendid. This is um, Jonathan Kenworthy and the Cheetah and the Grants Gazelles. It's um, a really good looking bronze set. It was bought direct from the Triumph Gallery in 1968. Um, really good piece, that. A lot of American collectors like those. So, there's our little glance over there, there's our Moorcroft and um, various other bits and pieces. Let's go around here and see what's going on in the picture gallery. Well, the main thing that's going on in the picture gallery is a huge run of bookcases. These are, um, again, from Congreve House and um, really impressive. A lot of bookcases there, sort of Regency with some tweaking to them. Need a big room to put them in, mind you. Very good dining table there, both for Christmas dinner. Otherwise, some interesting pictures. We've got some Frank Wootens again, the horses there, and below it, a view of Berwick. We have Elizabeth Frink, the head and the bird. We have Duncan Grant there, with the uh, mill pond and the portrait below. And all sorts of other pictures and so on. It's Charles Sillam Liddell, again, from the Yielding House, and a uh, good looking picture of that. It's going to be popular. Over here, it's a land of canteens. We've brought the silver upstairs, Roger has, and uh, we have all sorts. Look at that, that's a fancy pattern, isn't it? My goodness. Um, whole mixture of canteens. We've got this rather impressive um, Edwardian dressing table that opens up and it all hinges out, and all bells and whistles there. That's uh, lot number 610, 1500, 2000, or a solid silver galleon if you prefer. That's up there as well. It's all here. I told you it was, and it is. Doily John, a wall of Doily John here, almost a wall of, including some unusual ones directly from his family collection, the uh, bass and the still lives are a little bit different, or even if you fancy something more present, how about Shore and Power Station, there we go. Along the line, good collection of miniatures, really nice lot there, all come from one collection. Roger Silver's up here, he's been hammering it out for months, getting this lot together, some interesting bits and pieces there. We go around the corner. This is unusual. Perhaps it doesn't look a lot to the untrained eye. Perhaps it doesn't look a lot to the trained eye. I don't know, but this is Edwin Hing Wan, who was a Trinidadian painter. And he painted with his feet, and when his feet didn't work anymore, he painted with his mouth. And so it might look fine, but given the man's um, handicaps, it's pretty impressive. And these are very popular in Trinidad, and Trinidadians love them. It's unusual to have the figure in, which was specially requested by the lady who commissioned it. And so that's going to make three to five thousand pounds, something along that order. So interesting thing there. If you like your dogs, that's a great Arthur Wardle. You have another one here. And then we've already got um, Christine here with the jewellery. There's looking at the jewellery. Smile, you're going to be on TV. Lovely, thank you very much. Nice mixture of jewellery here, we've got some good diamonds, we've got all sorts of other bits and pieces, we've got some nice watches, so come along and look at that. Let's go this way, so, oh, first of all, look at this sofa, huge, that's impressive. And on the back of it, if that's not quite the thing, on the back of it, this is a um, Linley, Viscount Linley, this is a Linley 
13. Lovely thing that, a lot of interest. A little bit dog scuffed, I think the small terriers have been using that for some years, but um, good looking pieces, both of those as well. And then into here, well we've got some modern Norman Foster designed tables here, along with a whole host of Russian paintings showing around. And some other bits and pieces, some Archibald's Thorburns and all sorts. It's, it's, it's a really good mixed cell. So, that's the fine cell down. Down we go. Don't trip some in those huge heels you've got. <laughs> so what's downstairs? Well, downstairs is the weekly cell. My is it some weekly cell. 900 lots or so. And all sorts of goodies in it. Uh, look at this bed. Really nice bed. Very unusual to have the bow front to the foot. Mattress specially made to fit it. That is lot number 1846. We've got rocking horses. We've got long case clocks. We've got Jack on. We've got Jack. <laughs> he's, he's not for sale. Uh, Sally's done a lovely flower arrangement. There we are. Christmas flower arrangement. Again, a whole load of interesting furniture. Metamorphic buffet here. This, this is a heels wardrobe from memory. Lot 1872. We've got some military chests in the cell. We've got Wedgwood. We've got oak dressers. Aesthetic design toilet mirrors. Um, it's yeah. It's a, as I say, I keep saying it's true. It's a really good mixture. We'll go and look at the smalls. In the smalls, again, all sorts going on. It would be a miracle if there's nothing here for you. There's there's some good decorative items. There's collectors items. There's a lot of Victoriana. Uh, nice little workbox there, Indian one, inlaid ebony. There's some interesting paint, there's a William Belroche painting there. There's his dad Albert Belroche's lithographs. Whiskey, all sorts of booze of course. Getting near Christmas always seems to attract more. Look at that for the collector's area, a whole host of things. More of Dan's card cases, wine labels, bin labels, whole run of silver across there, nice mix of jewellery, all sorts of collectibles over the back. Jack, Jack and Ali here ready to answer your condition report request. Think of something obscure and email in, they'd love to look at it and answer it for you. As long as it relates to something in the sale, I have to say. Uh, the proviso there. So, more of the same here, just a really lovely mixture of things, all sorts of interesting bits and pieces. How about this? Do you like moles? Do you have mole hills in your garden? Well, if you do and you don't like moles, maybe you care to consider this. This is a mole skin coat. How many moles did it take to make that? I don't know. Uh, so rather splendid Victorian ladies moleskin jacket with hat and muff, estimate 8120, there we go, the moles won't approve. Uh, then down the line, some unusual, well relatively unusual whiskies, sort of semi-collectible whiskies, interesting glassware, that's a nice sampler isn't it Summer? Mm. 1824, Eliza Rule did that one. There we go, some glasses mm. here, uh, nice little pheasant, wily etchings, and then this side we've got Antler horn coat racks, books on the leak, more wine, deco -y figures. These are nice, set of four of these, are original watercolours, designs for, for a house of artistic style and beauty. Look at that, that's some house, isn't it? So uh, they're rather special. And finally, we're going to have a little look out the back. We'll turn the lights on, there we go. And uh, out the back again, crammed in all sorts of things. Um, Wild boar, they hit the wall hard, didn't they? There we go, yeah, a pair of those. And then some rather mm, special items, shall we say. If you need the Statue of Liberty, it's here, lot 1749, in some sort of soft metal. Uh, other unusual objects, the um, large composition uh, dancing lady there, lot 1744. I'm really hoping someone will like those and take them away. Um, the Blues Brothers are at the back, so it's a slightly bizarre setup out here in terms of what we've got. Some interesting metal shelving units, some nice rugs actually, back to the sort of more traditional things. Look at this one, I like this one a lot. This one down here, this is got 1770. It's in at 180, 220 pounds, it's a good looking car, but keep your eye on that one, I think it's going to do well, as will pretty well everything else here. So come along, we're on view today, we're on view Saturday. 9 to 1, and because it's a double view, we're here Sunday morning. Good time to come, parking's easier. 10 to 1 on Sunday. You can view all day Monday for the fine sale. We're selling all day Monday. I'll be on the roster Monday, selling it to you quite quickly because we've got 900 lots. So be ready, click, click, click on those mouses if you're bidding online. Look forward to seeing you, and um, I'll be speaking to you again next week as we run up to Christmas. Thank you very much. <laughs>